We're getting brand new images from NASA's newest Mars spacecraft. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has made its first observations from low orbit. One of its three cameras, the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment, or HiRISE, is providing unprecedented views of the red planet. In each and every one of these images, we are seeing features on Mars that we've never seen before. High-rise can resolve features as small as a few feet across. Here's the context image. There's a lot more detail in this context image than you can see here. Um, the high-rise image covers a little area there that you see in yellow. We'll zoom in on that. And then we'll show the overlay of the color coverage, which is just a narrow strip down the middle of the image. But we'll zoom in yet again. And now we're approaching the full resolution where we're seeing features as small as a few feet across. This is a beautiful area. This is uh, enhanced fault color. This is not the way it really looked to us. Um, there is, in this area, an overlying layer that has the orange and blue tint uh, thick layer, but it's being stripped away by the wind. This is an active environment on Mars. Beneath this, we see this light-toned material. It's layered, as we see here, layers that fill the crater. This is the clay-rich material that's of such interest because it means the environment here was wet. We see a variety of small-scale features. We see small channels, as in water. We see that the bright material is broken up into little plates. So we are seeing revealed here an, a very ancient world. We know that this is very ancient because the over, overlying layer even is old and heavily cratered. But this was a very different world on Mars. This was a soaking wet world where we, we formed clays and uh, small scale morphologies that we don't normally see on Mars. So there is a history here of climate change on Mars in the relatively recent past that uh, we're going to have uh, a lot of fun trying to decipher with the multiple instruments on MRO. This is only the beginning. In early November, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter will begin its primary science mission when Mars re-emerges from behind the sun.